Next, we'll hear from Brother Stephen Led of the governing body. He spoke to the Bethel family about an enemy of joy and where to find the antidote to it. Now, my theme is guard against every sort of greed. Mine, mine, mine. And the Insight book defines greed as inordinate or rapacious desire. The dictionary says, it's a selfish, excessive desire for more of something such as money than is needed. So in effect, Jehovah was telling Barak, stop being greedy. And in extended application, Jehovah tells us the same thing. Now, echoing Jehovah's counsel to Barak is what Jesus tells us. If you'll open up to Luke chapter 12, and let's read our theme scripture here. Luke 12, verse 15, similar counsel from Jesus. Luke 12, verse 15, then he, that is Jesus, said to them, keep your eyes open and guard, now notice, against every sort of greed. Because even when a person has an abundance, his life does not result from the things he possesses. Now, what makes it a challenge, though, for us to guard against every sort of greed as Jesus' counsel? Well, our three great enemies. In fact, let's discuss each of these and how it makes it a challenge. Now, first, our imperfect flesh. At Genesis 8:21, Jehovah said, the inclination of the heart of man is bad from his youth up. And uh, one form of badness is greed. Uh, this tendency toward greed becomes manifest very early. For example, as we see little toddlers grab things and hold them tightly. Mine, mine, mine. See, that greed is starting to manifest, isn't it? When people look at a little toddler, they may say, what a cute little boy. Or he has his mother's eyes, his father's nose. But they never invariably say, look at that little toddler, what an unselfish little toddler. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, mine, mine. And a member of the governing body will be heard to say, in spending Jehovah's money, we have to be more careful than we are in spending our own money. And that is truly how we feel about the matter. Yet, as you can well imagine, millions of dollars are required each month to finance the colossal kingdom work. Mine! Mine, mine. However, there are some facts that we want to make you aware of. For one thing, the financial needs in the field have accelerated at a pace unlike any time in the recent past. A recent analysis of the need for kingdom halls here in the United States showed that some 1,600 new kingdom halls or major renovations are needed, not sometime in the future, but right now. And worldwide, we are in need of more than 14,000 places of worship, not including ongoing future growth. 